good evening, masculine enjoyers. I hope you're doing all right. Because it's time for the roster rotation, which actually happened like three or four hours ago. So, yes, as you can see, we had a pretty cool looking roster. Uh, as expected, we did see the likes of Lexi Kevlar. We were under the assumption it was being held back for the full swipe. Well, look what you see. And, you know, we've got some interesting skins such as the Neon Vibes Armored Door. Very cool looking salvage sword. And uh, the first sheet metal double door skin to be accepted for this year. So quite a lot to discuss. Let's now go hop over to here and find out which of these skins are not and are abnormal. So if, what do we have? Ten skins. Very nice. Very cool. Let's go take a real quick looky looky. So this is not abnormal. This is not abnormal. This is abnormal. This is abnormal. This is abnormal. This is not abnormal. This is abnormal normal this is abnormal this is abnormal the uh, armor door and the sheet metal double door is abnormal so that means we have one two three four five six seven skins out of ten they're abnormal to chase after next week that's gonna be fun oh yes indeed so basically i'm quite pleased with this rust door um i was expecting a much more I know, crazier week, I guess you could say. Last week felt very tame. This week feels a whole lot more lively. I can see a lot of continuations. It's good. And uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of people, by default, are happier. But we need we need to go actually take a good look at all of them and discuss, all right, is everything going to work out all right? Are things going to be A-OK? -okay? But before we do that, we do need to discuss last week's skins real quickly. So as we quickly hop back to the past, one week ago, here we are. So this was last week's Rust Store. Did the skin sell all right? Well, I mean, the rock did almost 22,000, so props to that. I didn't expect much from that rock, but it did very well. But more specifically, when the Rust Store rotated, we got the likes of the regular skins becoming marketable. So here is the Desert Beast hoodie and, of course, pants. Now, when we line up these two, what do they line up with the tier three like? Tier three like? So these did about 10,000 plus sales. They have done about two to 3,000 less compared to the tier three. So in the future, if we were to see tier two armor being, you know, made and accepted, tier three might be in a bit of an awkward spot. It's very awkward, but will these actually, you know, retain their value from here and now? I don't think Desert Beast's collection is that in demand. So when these appeared, we did see a bit of a spike in demand, spike in price for both of these skins, but it didn't last, and they went back down in price again, and they went back below their Rustle price pretty quickly. It only, like, lasted a day, and that was it. So I kind of worry for the likes of all of this. Primitive I'm more positive for, but not the core pieces. Right, <clears throat> so... Marduk, I'll question that a little bit later, mate. Don't worry. So uh, with the likes of that, seems to be okay. But if there actually is interest in the set, that's where we're only going to really notice that much, uh, you know, interest. So based with the based on the barters that I see here, if these sold for ninety nine cents, I am not really seeing that much support to keep the price up. And you're already seeing listings of just barely over a dollar, so uh, awkward, awkward. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if this goes below its rust or price. The boulders are not going all the way up to 90 cents. The bulk of it ends at around 65 cents. Next up, we have the likes of the Bad News AR, and, well, yeah, boulders are only going up to about 80 cents. That, that's not too surprising. So there's another funny thing. Everybody seems to try their best to what not list theirs below three dollars someone has done that give it a few days this is going to probably be listing below two dollars and lower so with the builders only going up to about 80 cents i don't imagine this is going to hold up very well i do expect it to become like around a dollar it's to be expected new ak's unfortunately rarely ever have enough love to constantly being used by people there will always be another ak and now throw away the old one and grab the new one. But there's always another new one. So they'll throw that away and grab the new one. And then again and again. So awkward, but to be expected. Same with the SAR. SAR's pretty much in the exact same spot. Yeah, people might be trying their best not to list theirs too low, but it will happen eventually. So yeah, with the builders that we see here, nowhere near the $2 price. That's not going to hold. That very likely will end up at around a dollar as well. And then, of course, we have the likes of the SMG Nana. So, funnily enough, this has actually got some barders kind of going a bit high. Yeah, it's actually climbing up quite a fair bit. But the bulk of the barders are around 80 cents. I don't imagine this will be retaining its value. So, uh, with my guess, I think it will be going down regardless. Hey, maybe it manages to stay up because nobody will list theirs below f uh, $4. But they probably will. All right, cool. So with the regular skins out of the way, we can also take a look at the likes of the uh, Abnormals from last night. And, you know, Polished Obsidian is actually doing pretty good. It's got the interest for where people are actually jumping in and putting down stronger buy orders. So last night, we questioned it, we looked at it, and we thought, all right, well, there's, there's very likely going to be more rock skins in the future, and there's a very good chance they'll take away the interest from the likes of this. 
So we wanted to play it safe. We stuck our, our borders around a dollar. Well, as I said, there does seem to be some keen interest in which the price is starting to kind of go up in terms of the border requests. Maybe some people wanted to buy it at the very last second. But, you know, of course, with it being a force wipe today, Rust all rotates early. So, yeah, maybe some people just have to miss out. Maybe this actually does manage to stay up in price because nobody will list theirs, you know, below a certain price. We shall see. But we can't really judge it until maybe like two weeks' time. So we'll see what happens when everybody has the ability to sell it. And very likely they will list theirs at a much cheaper price, ruining these guys' plans. But is this actually in demand? Do people actually want to buy this for higher prices? I personally didn't see it, but I like to be surprised. So we'll have to keep an eye on the likes of that. First contact garage door. Well, it's the first of many. And again, another situation. Uh, yeah, this is definitely worth $9. <laughs> anyway, so uh, Bilder's kind of, you know, climbing up a fair bit, but the bulk of it does end it around just barely over a dollar. There will be more garage doors for sure, whether it's going to be Twitch drops or, you know, further market submissions, acceptances, you get the idea. Um, yeah, I do get the feeling that this won't be retaining its value. $2.49, will it last? Mm, don't think so. I do believe it will be going below that price. Then with the likes of the Cyber Mask and the Cyber Chest, the Tier 3 Cyber Set, yeah, we're not going to be seeing, at bare minimum, for two weeks, we're not going to be seeing any more Cyber Skins, so I'm going to sit here and say, yeah, for sure, people are going to start panicking and unload their stock on the Steam market. And this very likely will be going below a dollar. Wouldn't be surprised in the slightest. But if we do see more, you know, core pieces being submitted to the workshop and, you know, potentially accepted, yeah, you're still going to see a spike in demand, spike in price. But how long will it last for? So based on what I saw with the... Uh, somewhat recent metallic sets, I'm talking not colourful, but nice and shiny metal... Yeah, they didn't held they didn't hold up very well, did they? So I worry about that, and that's why last night I went with a fairly low ball buy order. So uh, yeah, that was all the skins from the past week. Let's see how they you know uh, you know how they look after a good week or two. But if you were to look at the skins from like the previous two weeks from here, like let's go take a look. So yep, some skins are already going down in price. That's quite unfortunate, but it is to be expected. And then if you look over to here, what do you see? Is it the same thing? Pretty much, yes. Again, wow. Wow. Well, there you go. You know, give it some time. They do go down. It's unfortunate, but again, expected. So here we are. These are the newest skins. Let's go take a look at each and every single one of these, and let's discuss where they might potentially end up at in the future. So first up, we have the likes of Legacy Kevlar. We have returned to Legacy Kevlar. So yes, I can't help but feel like Face Punch were purposely leaving this aside to have it ready for Force Wipe. With the amount of people we saw today, only going up to about 136,000. I can't help but feel like we will be seeing some more people playing this Saturday. We shall see. We shall see. But a lot of curious people wanted to jump in and take a look at those brand new backpacks. Yes, we've just received a bunch of new backpacks being added to the game. Oh, yes. So oh, nice. So they've been included. That's very nice. Will it make that much of a difference? I do don't think so, but we'll find out. You never know, you never know. But do keep an eye on the likes of the commits, because now that we've just had the February Force Wipe, we now look forward towards the likes of what's coming out for March. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. What might potentially be worked on for March? One notable thing I'm noticing is that there is a lot of mentions for uh, some changes to Harbour. It looks like we might be getting a revamped harbour potentially ready for March. We shall see. We shall see. There's a lot of time to work on this. So uh, keep an eye on the commits. You have to if you want to stay well prepared and understanding of what all the new content is currently being worked on. And they're working on it all right. Oh, yes. So that's nice to see. So back over to here. With the likes of Legacy Kevlar now here, what are we going to expect? So... With the likes of more Legacy Kevlar pieces, by default, you'd sit there and say, okay, surely we're going to see a nice spike in demand, spike in price for all the Legacy Kevlar skins that exist. Well, I just want to show you this tweet over here. So when the Rust door rotated and I saw the Legacy Kevlar skins returned, I put this tweet out and I made sure to take a quick screenshot of all the Legacy Kevlar skins before, you know, what happens over the course of the next few hours. And, well, we're going to go take a look. So this is the face mask, 414 quantity, $3.65. Here is the hoodie, 456 quantity, $1.63. Here is the Legacy Kevlar pants, 498 quantity, $1.56. And here is the Legacy Kevlar kilt, 530 quantity, $3.81. What do you think happened? What do you think happened? Let's go take a look. So, here's the Kevlar face mask. Ha. 115 quantity. Ha. 
cool. Yeah, cool. Then here's the uh, hoodie. Hasn't changed much. There's no, like, big fat quantities, but it hasn't really changed much. Here's the pants. Same thing. Just hasn't really changed much. And then here's the kilt. Ha. Huh. So, yeah. Other people exist. It's a shame. But will they persist? Will they stick around? Is there really that much traction on these skins? Now, they have persisted on the front page for a very long time. So, basically, ever since the Rustle rotated a good, what, several hours ago, these have... All of these skins, all of them, have persisted on the front page of the Rust Steam market. They are getting bought. But when people have more free time over the course of this weekend, maybe that's where we notice an actual proper budging of, like, you know, people jumping in and buying some skins and more sales are happening compared to listings. So, overall, yes, this isn't, this isn't helping anybody. But I do look at these skins more as a long-term investment. And we have to slowly go through the phase of... More of these being thrown onto the likes of third-party sites and being stored away on there, and you end up with a lot less of them on the Steam market. And, well, hopefully <laughs> that then leads to the prices improving because most third-party sites literally only look at likes of Steam market to get a good idea of what the values of skins are. So, uh, yes. Um, with the likes of what we have here, if you bought these at a certain price and you want to sell them for a certain price because you're satisfied with the profit, by all means, do so. But don't list 100, all right? Because that causes very negative domino effects and very likely will cause these to not really go that much further up in price. It's unfortunate, but it happens a lot. So, yeah, seems like this is starting to trend back upwards a fair bit. Not sure how long it will last, but I will sit here and confirm something to you. Having spoken to the skin creator, he does intend to make a, vision, uh, a version 2 of his boots and gloves. All right. So I'm sure many of you are well aware that for uh, quite some time we're questioning, will the boots and gloves ever be accepted? They do intend to make version 2. It might come out within the next few weeks. It might be set for March 4 swipe, you know, which will again be further down the road, but it's definitely happening. They are definitely motivated and confident to go ahead and make some Legacy Kevlar Boots and Gloves version 2. It's happening, all right? But uh, would it really even make that much of a difference? Maybe in the long term with a full proper set, but with the, with the behavior we've seen here? Awkward. <laughs> Awkward. Yeah, so that was the reaction. The reaction is that at the moment, maybe it'll be different this Saturday, you know, in the thick of the weekend, but I don't think there's really much else I can say. Did things improve? Well, sales have happened. Lots more sales have happened, but the price hasn't really moved that much. It's it's unfortunate for what it is. But what will this look like during the summertime? Again, don't forget, last summer, loads of people playing, loads of people playing, but we just had loads of people playing right now, and we didn't see the prices go up that much. Will the, you know, will the same things that we just saw the likes of this past Christmas also affect the likes of the summer, where prices don't improve that much, even though we have a very good player count? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. We're going to have to find out. But I'm still remaining optimistic that we will slowly, as time goes on, see the quantities in the Steam market slowly disappear and prices improve. And by, you know, next January, maybe we'll see all the legacy Kevlar in a much better position. And hopefully next year, for post-Christmas 2025, it'll be better compared to what we just went through. Whew, that was not good. So, yeah, do consider watching my video. So go over to here and watch my uh, I sold $13,000 in Ruskins video because it kind of goes over the whole thing in like a in a general sense of what happened. And you might sit there and say, wow, $13,000, you must be happy. Not when I compare it to the previous year. No. <laughs> Again, context, consider watching the video. So, uh, having talking, you know, having just spoke about the likes of Legacy Kevlar, uh, we need to specifically talk about these two skins. Right. Hello, Brisby. Sit back and relax. I'm currently talking about it. Thank you for turning up. Much appreciated, sir. All right, then. So, with what we have here, we have to discuss Rota Invest in Helmet. Have we seen an awkward position before where we've seen the vest and the coffee can helmet being accepted at a later time compared to the kilt. Yes. And this is where we go back to Whiteout Collection. So Whiteout Collection, if you can recall, it first started off in early 2021. Yep, 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 yep. And these came out, you know, at the somewhat at the tail end of the offline TV era. That's when loads of people were playing the game. That's when loads of people were buying skins. And as you can see, Whiteout Hoodie Pants, they sold a lot. And then as time went on, April time, so this came out in, in March, 
in April, we had the likes of Tier 3 come out. So that also sold a lot. But then the next month, a bit of a weird pairing, MDE decided to pair up the roadside gloves with the white out kilt. Ha. Huh. So, well, he did that, and, well, 60,000 sales here and 50,000 sales there, very nice. But then the next month, we had the coffee can and the vest. And that came out, and that sold, like, half the amount compared to all of these. But the funny thing is now, because this remained being a very in-demand set, look what happened. What's the most expensive skins right now? The coffee can, the kilt, and the vest. So these two in the top three. But I believe half the reason why is because there's a lot less of them in comparison to the rest of the skins right here. So, you know, this did almost, like, what, this must have done about 80,000 sales with the hoodie. Tier 3 must have been, well, it, it, it's, it's done over 70,000 sales. Point I'm trying to get across is, if people were to want full collections, there's only so many to go around in regards to the likes of the vest and the, and the helmet. Therefore, there's a lot less of them in circulation, and, well, you know, if there's only so much, the more expensive they'll become. So back over to here, when you look at likes of Legacy Kevlar, you can kind of see the same thing basically happening. Ivor Jaws, I'm going to have to talk about that in a second. Please, please hold on that sec, mate. So with what we see here, basically, if this does remain to be an in-demand collection, you know, if this does remain to be a set that people actively go and use and want and desire, it could slowly end up exactly like Whiteout. Now, I'm not saying same prices, but same type of behaviour. You could see the likes of these two skins ending up becoming quite expensive simply because there'll be less of these compared to the rest. Now, we do still need to wait out and see, will the helmet and the Kevlar vest actually not sell that much? All right. So after a good few hours, we're already at 5,000 bare minimum sales. Maybe this does sell as much as the likes of the hoodie and the pants and the tier 3. Now, don't forget, the kilt only did 30,000, which was a bit surprising, but hey, it happened. So, yeah, we've got to wait out and see. But by default, will this be relatively in demand and desired and traded and bought and whatnot? Yeah, it's going to be, that's going to happen quite a lot. But don't forget, with the likes of the hoodie and pants, for a fairly long time, they've done pretty badly. They have been below their Rustle price for a very long time, and there is a lot of it on the Steam market. We just kind of looked at it a minute ago, didn't we? Yep. But there's not that much. There's loads of space. I'm still surprised there hasn't been that much traction. There hasn't been that much movement. Look, there's nothing to stop it to go up in price, but I guess people still aren't actively wanting to jump in and attack it, you know, attack it and buy it and whatnot. So that's awkward. But again, let's wait until Saturday, look at it then, see what happens. Right, so... We've got that all like nice and said and done. Nice and said and done. So uh, over to here. These two skins are abnormal. All right. We don't have to jump in and buy them right now. You probably do because you've got the rest of the set. By all means, buy it, use it, enjoy it, support the skin creators, keep them motivated, keep wanting to put out very nice and you know uh, skin submissions in the future and whatnot. With the state of that, I do expect more Legacy Kevlar at some point in the future. Boots and Gloves version two that can happen. It's expected. So yeah, skin creator has confirmed he's going to do that. But um, yeah. By default, I think I'm just going to do a buy order. Based on what happened with the likes of the hoodie and pants, I just want to do a buy order. <laughs> because with these skins being accepted today, as we looked at the listings for some of these skins, this happened, other people did things like this, and I can't help but feel like, you know, that's going to happen quite a lot more. We're now drifting towards the likes of Easter time, this is where we no notice a bit of you know a bit of a drop in player count and of course drop in prices. We are well aware that we have a CS2 major taking place in just about well six weeks time. So yeah, I think I'm just going to be sticking with a buy order personally. But will this do better in the future? I hope so. But if we if we keep having dull moments like what we just had with the likes of post Christmas 2024 I do worry for all Ruskins all right so yes you are correct Neil uh Neil Jr this is a very good Rustor and I have a lot more to say for the rest of the other skins but for those two skins right there based on the behavior of other people I'm cautious I'm gonna want to stick with doing a barter now I'm gonna look at that on Wednesday night because we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be doing the abnormal barters aren't we we're gonna discuss how many have sold and we're going to discuss how we're going to want to approach that because we have to play this smarter we saw how people reacted and behaved with the legacy kevlar hoodie and pants which you know it's a very nice budget blackout option but then you know 
unload all of my stock. Ha ha ha. What's the worst that can happen? So yeah, that happened a lot. Um, so yeah, I feel like I've rambled more than enough in regards to that. I can see things being very nice in the future, but that's the future. And with what we're currently at now, <laughs> it's the horrible present. And in the near future, things are expected to get a fair bit worse. So yeah. At some point, Rust will have too many Rust skins. We're already questioning that. We already question that. At the moment, we're just over 4,000 sales and to uh, skins in total. There will be more Twitch drops. There will be more Rust stores. There will be more skins and items made by Face Punch. At some point, something needs to be done to kind of stop such bad things potentially happening. There's going to be too many options for everything, and that's a worry. And you know what? That's probably a very good segue to now move on to the likes of talking about the Space Airlock Double Door. Because what's worked out very nicely for this, if we go over to the item section, let's just close this up. SCMM's a little bit screwy, so I've got to go do it this way. If I go look at all the sheet metal double doors that exist, and if I look by uh, lowest price, you might notice something here. Oh, wow. Every single sheet metal double door skin's in the positive? Yeah. Yes, they are. But it's all based on the fact that we don't really see many of them being accepted. Now, we do have quite a lot of Twitch drops, and that's happened a lot very recently. That has happened a lot very recently, and we literally just got one for free, like, what, just two weeks ago? Trust and Rust? So... With marketable ones, we probably get like two or three a year. So one, two, and then one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five. Oh, we got five that year. Okay. But point still remains. We don't really get that. We do not get that many of them. All right. So by default, this space airlock double door, which we can go take a real quick look at, it's in a very good position, but also potentially a somewhat awkward position. What do you mean? How, how can you say both things and kind of try and make that sound normal? I'll explain. So I'm actually quite surprised to see this was accepted today because there's something upcoming next week that we have to be well aware of. Now, I'm sure many of you are aware with my most recent Rust Workshop skin checks, as you can see right over here. Wow. Wow. I get to see all the new skins. And from the thumbnail, you might notice that uh, we had a lot of Lunar New Year skins and we had quite a bit of Valentine skins because, of course, next week it all kicks off Lunar New Year, the Year of the Dragon. That's, t you know, that's kicking off on February 10th. And then we have Valentine's on the 14th. Are we going to have some sort of weird hybrid Rust store where we see both theme skins like that? But also with the recent submissions, we've been seeing a lot of very, very, very interesting sheet metal double doors so if i hop over to here scroll down we have received five sheet metal double door skins just this past weekend and we also have this upcoming weekend as well i think we're going to be seeing more so if i were to show you so you just saw the uh, very cool long sheet metal door right there but we have some valentine's one spray can and lunar dragon fortunes gate there's a lot of options there's a lot of very interesting cool things that have been produced and do you honestly think that we're not going to potentially see any one of them i mean there's a very good chance that could happen but uh yes we potentially might be seeing even more i'm just pointing it out there but when you give a good look at some of these skins they do look very, very cool. All right. Okay. So this might not seem so special if we immediately get another one next week. And does that mean potentially to see two sheet metal double doors, actually technically speaking, free, free skins this early in the year? <laughs> does that mean sheet metal double door skins are going to be a whole lot more common from here and now? That's another worry, because if that happens, well, there you go. They're not going to be so special anymore, are they? Therefore, following up what, what Mr. Autofield Bro just said, if that happens, then the, overall their prices might very likely go down. Yes. Yes, indeed. Do you remember ponchos? Ponchos used to be very rare. But then what? The Arctic poncho got accepted in late 2022. And then suddenly we saw... How, then ever since then, we've been getting a lot of poncho skins. Well, before that whole fiasco happened... Poncho skins were actually very valuable. They're, we didn't have many to go, you know, there was hardly any to go around, and that was a that was cool. And then when the Arctic poncho came out, it did like 40,000 sales. In fact, why don't I just show you ponchos real quickly? So here we go. SCMM.app item database, poncho. That was easy. And then we'll go by most recent, newest. There we go. So as we hop over to here, following up from what I was saying, before this even appeared, right, we only had these ponchos, and they were fairly valuable. They were liked. People were happy with them. 
then this appeared, and then this appeared, and then this appeared, and then, uh, yeah, and then suddenly we've just got tons of ponchos within like the past two years. As you can see, with more ponchos, the less valuable they become. So the point I'm trying to get across to all of you is, if we see this with sheet metal double doors, I worry for it. So, looking at the state of this, is there anything wrong with this particular door? Not really. It's a perfectly fine door. It doesn't have transparency. People asked it doesn't have transparency. It does glow in the dark from what you can see there. Kind of like nicely condensed, I guess, I guess you could say. So it doesn't glow all over the place, I believe. So it seems okay. Nothing wrong with it. And if we, if listen, if this was the only sheet metal double door skin to be accepted this year that's marketable, that would do totally fine. That would be in the positive by the end of the year. Perfectly, easily, no issue. I wouldn't be surprised at all. Because what we do have to remind ourselves is uh, when we had the likes of that Abyss sheet metal double door from last year, I wasn't exactly like super keen for it. I didn't think it looked that interesting, but I knew, I knew the likelihood was we just simply weren't going to see that many sheet metal double door skins being accepted in 2023. Lo and behold, I was correct. We got the bombshell one, and then that was that. That was it. But then we did get the Twitch drops. I have to point that out. You know, I'm sure many of you remember the Blizzard ID double door that was given away for free. Oh, that was amazing, wasn't it? That's got transparency and whatnot. Anyway, focusing. Even then, this still went up in price. And what? Just a good month ago, this was up by 50%. This was selling for over two dollars. It was doing good, and technically speaking, still doing good. It's profitable. But with the likes of this now. When you look at that, do you see that being better off compared to the likes of the, uh, you know, the Abyss one? I can see that. Yep, for sure. I can definitely agree with that. But like I said, if we keep seeing more and more and more and more sheet metal double doors potentially being accepted in the future, I do worry. And like I said, we know that there are some interesting skins that have literally just been submitted for the upcoming special holiday that is Lunar New Year. And of course, we also have Valentine's. So yeah, that's all potentially expected to potentially appear next week. Consider going through my Rust Workshop skin checks. There is a lot of deplorables that are dragon themed. It's the year of the dragon. But um, yeah, yeah. So with the likes of that talk, <laughs> my opinion. I want to see how many uh, sales we get with that space airlock double door. I want to see how many other sheet metal double doors appear over the course of this next weekend. And then I will make a decision. Is that all right of you? Are you satisfied with that? Because, uh, yeah, this is abnormal. Don't need to rush into anything. But by default, if you need a sheet metal double door skin, go for it. Buy it. Support the skin creator. Keep them motivated. Keep wanting to put out very nice, interesting skins in the future. But like I said, keep an eye out with the likes of these sheet metal double door skins. It can be a bit awkward. Ivar Jar, thank you very much for your subscription. Much appreciated there, buddy. Sorry for not, like, focusing you. Just trying to get through all of this. And I'll answer all of your questions afterwards. Okay, cool. Right, so, uh, yeah. I am optimistic, but also hesitant. Things are different this year. After what happened with post-Christmas 2024, I have to be extra critical. Yeah, I guess that's the way of saying it. So, uh, yeah. It's good by default. But things have changed now. So, yeah. Let's move on. Cursed Hide Boots. So this is funny. Why, why did we get the uh, boonie hat separate from this when they came out as a pair in the workshop? But another instance of... Oh, no. I, yeah, it doesn't work. <laughs> Let's go look at all the hide shoes. Hi, booties! Where's the booties? The booties. Where are the booties? The booties. The booties. Shoes, shoes, shoes. Show the shoes. I want shoes. Give me the shoes. Oh, yeah. We don't have many of them. That's cool. That's fine. So, uh, as you can see, the likes of pirate hide shoes. This is probably the best thing we can compare to. Not those. Uh, oh, greasy. Oh. But uh, these, these, these. So these are accepted. Back in uh, April of 2023. It's part of a well-established set. Much like this right here. Curse Collection, technically speaking, is a pretty full-fledged set. Seems Face Punch did, does not care for the core pieces. I did go up to Mr. Zink and say, right, maybe you should consider making burlap a shirt and pants. Maybe that might work out better for you. We'll see what he does next. <laughs> and the Deer Skull Mask. Shut up, chat! Deer Skull Mask is also on the horizon, potentially. We did ask about that a good few weeks back. They do intend to want to do something for it like that. Anyway, point I'm trying to get across is, this is part of a well-established set. And, well, exactly like those boots as well. Yeah, cool. So, I get the feeling these hide shoes might do quite all right. But it's another, it's another instance of, okay, so we're starting to see more hide shoe skins being accepted now. Uh-oh. Um, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, last year we only got two. That's fine. But it's the very beginning of this year. 
and we've already got another pair. But then again, you know, you know, this appeared in February as well. All right, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. That worked out all right. Now, Pirate Hide Shoes. Let's actually go take a look at you. Let's go see how you've, you've been performing over the past two months. So right now, 106 uh, quantity on the Steam market. Perfectly fine, you know. On average, every single Ruskin on the Steam market has about 100 quantities. So that's like bang on average, perfectly fine. But it's the history. I want to see the history. And, uh, well, I mean, it was doing better. So that was selling for about $2.50 at one point. What, a good month ago? Maybe not so good compared to that now. I see it, I understand. But, yeah, I mean, that worked out very nicely and it didn't have any competition, did it? Technically speaking, it now does. But I still expect it to rise up in price during good times again. So my answer to you is, uh, well, this did all right. It's part of a well-established collection. This is new, part of a well-established collection. 99 cents each. Okay, that might be a little bit different. Hang on a minute, how much did these sell for? 99 cents. Oh, well, there you go. Mm. I will sit here and I will say, I think things will work out all right eventually. But I do imagine quite a lot of these will probably be appearing on the Steam market very quickly. Now, again, look at the rest of the Curse collection. Some of it went down again. <laughs> it's unfortunate. But give it some time to just, like, you know, just, 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 just ferment. And let's see what it looks like during the summer. Will, they, will those Cursed Hide shoes go below their Rustle price? Based on what I'm seeing here with the rest of the set, I wouldn't be surprised. But will it improve eventually? I mean, hey, if we do get more of those uh, cursed primitive skins, such as burlap shirt and pants and deer skull mask, shut up, people. Um, yeah, I can, um, I can envision things will do all right eventually. Now, will we get any other primitive collections, uh, primitive sets? I haven't seen anybody else really trying. So that's okay for us at the moment, I guess you could say. But yeah, if people don't try, there won't be other options to compare and compete with, and very likely the Curse Collection will be, you know, used and loved and appreciated, much like Pirate last year. Pizza, not so much, but Pirate came after pizza. People prefer Pirate, Pizza suffered, Pirate flourished. There, you get the idea. So yeah, I can envision Cursed Hard Shoes will be doing all right, and I don't expect many other people to be producing Hard Shoe skins at all during this year. They very likely will be one eventually. I'm not going to rule out the possibility, but... It doesn't happen that much. That's an answer I'm going to give you. Okay, cool. So in regards to that, things can work out all right, but I do expect it to dip below its rust or price. That is not abnormal. We can wait until Wednesday to make a decision if you're not jumping and buy some. But uh, the only real thing that you can do is compare the sales this has with the rest of the set, and I think it'll probably match up reasonably fine. Maybe about 10,000 sales, maybe in between these. We shall see. We shall see. But I don't envision it's going to be doing a ridiculous amount of sales. So with these three skins here this week... That's going to probably take away most of the money. In good time, this will probably just sell maybe about ten to 15,000 sales. That's a very rough estimate, but again, we'll find out. All right, then. So, yeah, seems to be reasonably okay. Shall we move on? Let's talk about Neon Vibes. So, I'm sure many of you are well aware that we have a Neon Vibes collection. So, we've just seen a new deplorable skin being accepted for this collection. Have we seen any traction happening to, like, the Furnace and the other skins? I haven't seen anything yet. Nothing really changed. Now, if I were to quickly refresh, how many of these have sold in the past 24 hours? 48. Where has the price been throughout all of this time? Um, hmm. Oh, we did see a decent amount of sales climb up compared to the previous days. So I do believe some people have jumped in and made some purchases. 328, 329, that's about $4 each if we quickly go over to here. Uh, uh, yeah, people did buy them, but it didn't really go up in price. Now, what happens from here and now? Will we see some more of these Neon Vibe skins? I do expect it and this is where i actually asked my own chat hey did any would anybody like to hop in and ask um will there potentially be a version two of the storages maybe you know sleepy back would also be nice but anyway someone actually jumped in and asked hey how you doing um oh it disappeared someone did ask though but yeah someone is anyone feeling brave does anyone want to hop in and say hey ds congratulations are we going to see any more of this collection are we going to potentially see a version two of the storages that you put up so yes these two appeared around christmas time fairly awkward timing unfortunately now i would love to see these being accepted look at all of that that looks pretty that looks nice but it didn't happen we never got the storages so large box didn't happen and unfortunately small box didn't happen either but What's stopping him from doing a version 2? I don't expect much. And, you know, will there be even more deplorables? I hope so. It's working out for him. People like it. They sell well. So, on the horizon, could we have a much bigger collection? I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, you got to, you got to, you know, 
speak to him and tell him and say, hey, I appreciate this. Give me more. I need more. Um, but I can envision this working out nicely in the future. You've got a very cool looking furnace. You've got a very nice sheet metal door. A sheet metal door and a positive? That's a rare sight to see, but yeah, it's working out for that. Garage door, unfortunately, has dipped down a fair bit. How much buy, though? Let's just quickly see. Like, How many of them are actually below its rustle price? Because it did sell for a fairly high price. Uh, that sold for $3.49. This is now selling for $4.27. Well, there you go. <laughs> okay, it got bought out then. So it uh, looks like SC Mendo APP is a little bit delayed. Yeah, you can see that. Look right there. It's, uh, whoop. Yep. So uh, more investment towards the collection because it keeps growing bigger. Will we see more? I hope so because it definitely will help out the rest of this collection here. But we do need to talk specifically about the armored door. So let's do that. So as a whole, the collection can improve, and this is part of the collection, so that's a positive for it. But again, look at the armoured doors. Unfortunately, because SCMM's a little bit screwed up, I have to go do it this way. Take me to the doors. How have armoured doors done recently? Not good, unfortunately, as you can see. Quite a lot of them in the negative. In fact, all of them in the negative. That's not good. Not good at all. No. Um, and yes, glow in the dark. Uh, glow in the dark and transparent. That didn't work out very well. Uh, glow in the dark. Glow in the dark. Glow in the dark. Not good. So, what has happened? Basically, uh, you have to question, how often are people even getting to a point where they have armoured doors? Yeah. So, uh, you know how we always talk about gun demand? You know, we just talked about it last night with the uh, the custom SMGs. If people aren't actively, actively craving to use it and actually manage to even get a hold of it, you know, it can go both ways. Um, if people aren't using the item that much, where's the justification to have skins for said item? You can apply that to armored doors. So it's not an issue of do we have enough supply or uh, do we have too many options? It's more of a case of are people actually getting to the point where they actually use the door itself? Red armor door isn't doing look very good either. Oh god, that literally just came out. Anyway, point I'm trying to get across is like look at this. This is a transparent like the, the, the amount of transparency you have in this door is ridiculous. The glow in the dark very beneficial, still blow its rustle price. That's rust skins as a whole, unfortunately, at the moment. They're all kind of dipping down a fair bit, but I'm sure I got the point across. So looking at the likes of this, will this go below its rustle price? $2.49. Wouldn't be surprised. But regardless, as a whole, if we keep seeing more Neon Vibe skins being made and accepted, it will still work out nicely. So yeah, even this was dipping down below its rustle price for a while. New skin appeared today, got bought out. We literally just saw that, didn't we? So the more, the merrier the better for the collection, the more people appreciate, the more people invest, the better it ends up at. But it's a matter of, will, that, will it happen? Well, first things first, will we see version 2s for these? After that, uh, sheet metal double door maybe? Armour double door maybe? Who knows? We shall see. Wooden doors? Rug? Water purifier? <laughs> more deplorables. More deplorables, yes. But we'll have to wait and see. So... In terms of what I'm going to do, well, it's abnormal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until Wednesday, look at the amount of sales, then make a decision. Because if it's fairly tame with the sales, I could work, I could imagine it will work out quite all right in the future. Yes, indeed. So we'll leave it be. Abnormal, builders first, look at the support afterwards, make a decision then. So that'll be for Wednesday night. All good? Let's move on. Blackstone Sar. So this is also very confusing. Um, technically speaking, the rock skin that we had last week was supposed to be in here called a Blackstone skin, but... Um, Nullfutt and Jimmy Tedeschi keep switching themselves around for who's the person who's in, like the main creator. It's a bit weird. I'm sure you, you can understand. When we go over to the workshop page, it's under a specific guy's workshop. And then you, when you actually look at the skins, it's con collaborated between two people. Bit weird. But yeah, that rock skin from the previous week was supposed to be Blackstein. But yeah, uh, Face Punch just probably decided, no, we're going to do it differently. In fact, actually, no, if I go back over to there, they've actually started to call their skins Obsidian. So, no, 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 let me, let, me, let me show you this. Let me show you this. They did. They're, they're polished Obsidian. So, so... <laughs> it's been, uh, what is it? <laughs> I don't know anymore. Yeah, so... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anymore. I don't know. Personally... I think they should just stick with calling it Blackstone. I think The Rock was a one-off. If you just commit to it, it should be all right. Anyway, 
So lucky for them, new skin, very nice, very cool, full black skin, should maybe work out all right, you might reckon, but you know, look at the AK, oh god, down 52% already. All right then, let's go actually take a good look at this, because not too long ago we did just have the Pirate Sar, which was mostly black with a useful red aim sight, and I don't see useful aim sights, just a black aim sight. However, in most environments during the day, that's totally fine, no issue, no problem. If it gets a bit dark, hmm. So, uh, yeah, um... I can't see anything really wrong with it. There's nothing, no, like no issue or whatever. And, you know, if you wanted a very, very cheap option for a blackout saw, I mean, you got it right there. That's it. That's totally fine. That's no issue. That's no problem. Will it hold? Let's go take a look at all the saw skins. So over to here, I look at saw. My brain can't notice thing very good, very fast. Oh, dear. There it is. Newest SARS. Show me them all. And wow, pretty much every single one of them is in the negative. Yep. So that's the state of new SARS. Oh, look, Blackout SARS right there at $5. All right, sticking to the point. Yeah, this is the unfortunate future I expect for it. And don't forget, you know, with the likes of Twitch drops that we've just received, they have very useful aim sites. And, you know, you might think, well, why do I even want to buy another SAR if I just got something for free that's even better? based on the aim sites. Crowley SAR, for example, has the exact same aim sites as the Impsar. Impsar was $40. I'm not sure if it still is, but yeah. All because of a little bit of transparency that you can see a little bit more when you aim down the sites. Very helpful, very beneficial. Crowley SAR, given away for free. So loads of people pick that up while they want to buy another SAR if they are happy with what they have. And that's another potential reason as to why skins are down bad at the moment, especially with the recent post-Christmas. <sighs> Very unfortunate. Anyway, Blackstone Saw, what will happen with the likes of this? Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of faith in Saw skins. We just had one, and it didn't work out very well. And, well, if I quickly pop this back open and take a quick look at it, it still isn't really looking super great. So, yeah, uh, not very optimistic, I'm afraid to say. But, again, we'll wait until Wednesday, look at the amount of sales, then make a decision. But, personally, I wouldn't be surprised if it's potentially going to end up being a 70 cent to 90 cent buy order. I like to play things safe now, so I feel like that is going to end up being that sort of thing. Sounds good. All right, so shall we move on? Let's go do that. Ice, ice sword. Right, this is pretty unique. This is pretty interesting. A full blue sword. Have we seen anything like that before? Technically speaking, yes. And uh, you might have saw it a little bit earlier when I was already on the uh, Savage Sword page. So, uh, that looks cool. Zinc, you've done a, you done a really good job of that. That looks really cool. Of course, because it's cold. Moving on. So, uh, <laughs> sorry. It looks cool. It looks very unique. But salvage swords in a very, 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 very weird spot. Why? What, what, what's wrong now? What's wrong now? Why is everything bad? Because everything's bad. All right. So, let's go take a look at salvage swords, and you'll see it for yourself. Because unfortunately, uh, all the recent salvage sword skins haven't been performing very well. Ever since Katana Sword, the first Savage Sword skin to be accepted after two years, because there's like a two-year gap between these two, down 51, down 61, down 55, down 51, down 56, down 56, down 59, down 60. Yeah, they, 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 don't, they don't retain their value very well. They all end up at around a dollar. And yeah, this was the other blue sword, the Pixel Sword. Yay! Look at that. <laughs> Minecraft. I love Minecraft. Anyway, moving on. I, I worry. I worry. So, um... Over to the likes of... Uh, where were we? Where, 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 whoa, 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 here we are. I worry that this isn't going to be getting that much appreciation. I worry that this isn't going to work out very well. I worry that this might end up like the others. But it looks so much more distinct and unique and interesting. Is that enough? How often are you running around with your swords? Is that going to get some sort of special appreciation from roleplay? I don't know. Just don't buy. I mean, yeah, you can just stick with doing a buy order. It's abnormal. We can definitely incorporate that. I worry, but I could also envision that might actually work out and do quite all right. Because, again, based on what we have over here, this is very likely be going to be taking away a lot of the attention. Could that, you know, somehow turn around and become very interesting, very special, and end up being quite expensive? Because there's only so many of them that are bought based on the fact that loads of attention was put on these skins. Now you understand. I have to question everything, and I don't like that. It's not fun. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. It'll look very nice in a single weapon rack from the front b Frontier base rack. Yeah. See, this is why I think if they do introduce mannequins, they should be like display things that you can put in your uh, in your base. 
you can't wear every single skin that you have, but you could put it on display in your base. And if you could have it in a, you know, you know, like a knight's armor, where they also stand with a sword. Oh, do a skull killer. Oh, oh, nice and blue. Oh, yeah. Or, you know, you could do it the likes of the um, the Ice King. What's it called? The, 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 you know, the, the, the throne, the big ice throne, and you have the sword, and you have the armor. You have to use the... Um, that frozen kilt, don't you? Because it doesn't come with a kill. <laughs> but no, I mean, it could work out very nicely. We'll see, we'll see. <sighs> it's awkward. I feel like that would do better than the other salvage sword skins, but it'll still go below its rustle price. That is my expectation. And <laughs> that isn't really that much. So again, you could just probably do a centi cent to 90 cent by order. Playing it safe, but it should work out quite all right. Frontier base tickle pack, I meant to say. Not what I was saying. In fact, I could just go up to here and point it out. What was the thing I was talking about? I was talking about... Ice King. Yeah, it, it was Ice King. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, cool. So uh, back over to here. Here we are, yes. Now we can talk about the likes of the Inquisitor Metal Door. Right, so Faf, you don't get that many acceptances, do you? Oh, no, it's your second. Well, well done, sir. Congratulations. Now I have to talk about sheet metal doors. This is awkward. This is going to be very awkward. Um, why? Take a look at all the sheet metal doors that have come out over the past two years, and you'll find out. So, doors, 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 doors. Can you show me all the doors? Oh, no. Right. So, how many of them do you currently see that are in the green? Well, we did mention the likes of the Neon Vibe Sheet Metal Door earlier. That's doing all right. No, 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 Ha. Even even Abyss has gone back down a fair bit. That's that's tragic. And then, uh, you know, I can also point out Twitch drops. You've got a Twitch drop there. Where is another Twitch drop? You, we just literally had this Twitch drop. This was the Trust and Rust skin. That was charity, uh, charity only. Uh, you know what? We don't actually get that many cheap metal doors as Twitch drops. Okay. Well, points to remains. There's a lot to, uh, you know, pick from here. There is a lot to pick from here. And this is page one. There's more than... There's three pages. There's a lot to... Uh, Compared to, there are a lot of options. Sheet metal doors are kind of like AKs. There's far too many options, and unfortunately, with so many options, they kind of struggle to retain their value. Um, so it has to stand out very nicely. Neon Vibes does a very good job of that. It does this. So we take one quick look at it, and first of all, I will give it some credit. It looks cool, but I just don't think it stands out that much in game based on you know the color, you know, the colors and whatnot. Yeah, cool design, not going to say no to that, but what does the generic guy who plays Rust sit here and say when he sees that? Yeah, so, yeah, I worry for it. And based on what I saw of all the other sheet metal doors that we just saw, yeah, uh, probably not going to retain its value. But at the end of the day, by all means, if you happen to like a design of a skin, consider buying it keep supporting those skin creators keep them motivated keep wanting to put out very nice designs it was fuff's second ever skin to be accepted so you might not be able to look at a skin in terms of you know it being a nice investment but you can still consider buying a skin there's nothing wrong with that buy skins to enjoy them use them appreciate them but looking at all of these skins trying to make a profit you do have to question things a little bit more and you also have to question other people's like you know, responses to certain things and behaviour and... Yeah, you, you get the idea. You understand. So I don't feel like I had to explain that anymore. Right, so that, unfortunately, I don't imagine will be doing super great. We can wait until Wednesday, look at it then, make a consideration. But, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, inflatable tools. By default, not that enthusiastic. What do you mean? We just literally had tools, didn't we? Pixel tools, to be precise. And we did kind of bring up the whole point that, uh, well... Oh, where are they? Oh, it was it the first week? There you go. Uh, but, oh, wow, they have gone below their roster price. That was quite surprising. So when these came out, they sold at 99 cents, which was a very, very, very random and rare thing to see because every now and then, Face Punch will change the prices a bit. I mean, well, of course, for a higher price, it's normal with the likes of abnormal skins for skins they think would sell better. But rarely do you see them sell them at a cheaper price. And these, which would normally sell for $1.99, sold for 99 cents each. But the point I said to you was... People don't seem to care for tool skins. It's 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 it shouldn't be too hard to understand, I guess. Uh, I mean, well, I've said it. Oh, look, you can see hatchets and whatnot here. Okay, that's that's so much easier. Look at all the hatchets that come out over the past two years. Do you notice there's a problem? 
They're all in the negative and they're all around a dollar. All in the negative and all around a dollar. Set that one. That one's kind of okay. When times are good, this does better. But yeah, you can see it. Hatchets, not looking good. What about pickaxes? Let's go take a look at pickaxes. And what do we see with the pickaxes? It's, 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 it's the exact same thing. Unless one random tool's getting manipulated. Yeah, yeah, you can see that, can't you? So the new inflatable tools. Bit of a weird idea, but hey, you know. <laughs> creative idea, I will give it that. Is there anything wrong with this? No, no, I don't see any issues. I think it's goofy. I think it's silly. By all means, whack, you know, if uh, you know what would be really funny? In, if Face Punch made it themselves, they would be able to do it. Skin creators can't. If you whack people around the head with that, it would be... <laughs> it'd make like a, like a bump or like a squishy noise. That had been funny. That, that would have sold quite all right. But that right there, um, uh, again, nothing wrong with it. It's just I don't imagine people really care for it. I don't imagine it will sell that much. I don't imagine it will retain its value. Because, you know, just take a look at all the other things that came out over the past two years, three years, four years. If you want, you know, some of the very older ones are more expensive. True, that's fine. But that came out now. And by default, I expect that to go down by at least half its price. And I expect that to end up around a dollar. Wouldn't be surprised in the slightest. Nope. Yep. Uh, no, no, yep, no, no, yes, 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 no. Okay, moving on. So, uh, point, point I'm trying to get across is, um, yeah, I don't imagine that'll be retaining its value, and I don't imagine things will work out very nicely for it in terms of being an investment. However, I also don't imagine they're going to sell that much, and this is where we have to keep into, con you know, take into consideration lowest selling skins of the week. Not really randomly, but they just so happen to sometimes get bought out and manipulated and appear to be very expensive. Yes, uh, groups of manipulators will always keep an eye out for certain skins, and if they think they can get a hold of the vast majority of the stock that exists, they will make it appear to be a whole lot more valuable, and they'll trick third-party sites, and then they'll cash out by exchanging their inflated valuable skins for actual, genuinely valuable skins. And then suddenly when they stop supporting it, all the way back down in price. This is a commonly occurring thing. All right, so be aware of things like that that could happen, okay? But we can't really question that until next Wednesday when we actually see the total sales. So, uh, yeah, that's it. That's everything. That's everything in regards to this week. I understand I'm still a bit cautious with everything. I'm sure you can get that based on what's happened recently, recently. But overall, with, the, with a default stance, a lot of skins here do look to be doing perfectly fine. What's your, what's your consideration for perfectly fine? <laughs> um, the smartest thing to do from here and now is just to stick with buy orders. Smartest thing to from here and, you know, to do now is wait until Wednesday. I always stream Wednesday night. We always go over the skins. We always discuss prices and whatnot. That is always a normal re occurring regular thing that we do. Um, but yeah, it's all about sales really at the moment. Legacy Kevlar, I'm very interested to keep an eye on. The Space Air Lock Double Door. Are you going to be unique? Are you going to be the only sheet metal double door that we're going to see over the past, like, next few months? Or will we see something as soon as next week, potentially? So, yeah, we've got to keep an eye on the workshop. If anything, that's the first thing that we have to be aware of. Keep an eye on the workshop. Uh, with so many Lunar New Year skins that are submitted, I can't help but feel like everyone who did a Lunar New Year skin last week will end up doing Valentine skins. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and um, and vice versa. Everyone who did a Valentine skin last weekend will probably end up doing a Lunar New Year skin. Now, uh, we do have to question, um, are there definitely going to be Lunar New Year skins? It is to be expected. It is to be expected. Uh, of course, you know, with the likes of Face Punch themselves making uh, special skins, which you can actually see right here, right now. Don't break on me now. Please don't do that. I, I need you. Don't do it. No! It broke. <laughs> I broke it. No. Well, at least we got most of the talk out of the way. Let's go over to my Twitter because I did retweet um, a rustified video showcasing the likes of the new I uh, item slash skins that face punts themselves have made. I'm talking about the Lunar, the Lunar New Year Dragon Launcher and the Lunar New Year Spear. So yeah, we have our first ever wooden spear being produced by face punch themselves. And you can see it right here. Let me just mute the tab. And you can see it for yourself. So this is a rustified video. There's the dragon launcher. Very nice, very cool. See, regular skin creators, they can't produce a skin where they add mesh to it. They can only work with and, you know, make some things transparent. So I get the feeling from here and now, 
every holiday potentially we're going to have some sort of specially produced uh face punch skin design for a weapon do you remember not too long ago we got the baseball bat for the mace skins there you go that was the first so what do we expect from here and now for the other stuff well i guess we'll find out but that is the first ever wooden spear skin that's going to be appearing next week i expect with the dragon launcher not sure what prices they'll be feel free to comment and suggest some ideas but by default they are brand new items made by face punch themselves by default they will be abnormal so that's something i am fully reasonably aware of so yeah yeah we are expecting next week february 8 to be the lunar new year week slash um slash uh valentine's i expect lunar new year skins to come out next thursday and then on saturday we'll end up seeing a batch of valentine skins being added as well i have discussed this in a video literally over here 14 minutes long feel free to give it a watch um i do showcase off some of the skins but yeah um this is the expected outcome i'm not 100 percent sure if it's going to be that it was a bit weird that face punch didn't actually ask skin creators to make lunar new year skins this year don't know why but i've pointed that out they haven't asked for valentine's either don't know why but we'll find out what happens okay so um webby is asking hedge what should i do in regards to my legacy kevlar skins so my answer is is i'm expecting more people to play on saturday now from what we've seen all right from what we've seen legacy kevlar has consistently remained on the front page for the past like five six hours another thing i can do is refresh here refresh here refresh here refresh here i can actually find out how many have sold within the past 24 hours 172 368 error <laughs> come on work there we go uh 419 and for the kilt yes we have 321 a lot of sales are happening a lot of sales and if you're wondering uh the blue line indicates uh, sales so you can clearly see based on what we've seen today compared to the previous days it's been quite a bit of a jump so yeah you can see that very easily there and there and there will it keep going on like that over the course of this weekend i hope so i do expect so and i do expect more people playing compared to what we saw today so in theory webby in theory i would still say wait until saturday but will we see domino effects will we see the repercussions of people listing how much oh yeah you know um 100 quantity yes we could see the repercussions of that will that persist will that stick around i hope not like if that person genuinely wants to see the skins go up in price and make better profits he's got to remove that and i get the feeling he's watching me and doing it on purpose so yeah um unfortunately other people exist other people do stupid things other people will uh, you know badly affect the prices of skins but if that didn't exist and if you take a good look at this as a whole other than that big fat quantity where is everything else there's no big fat resistance after that and then it could easily go up in price but the actual genuine interest in the skins whilst we've been seeing a lot of sales there's also been quite a lot of people listing things as well so it's just kind of been like <laughs> it didn't move <laughs> it didn't move it's awkward so my only saving grace for the likes of this now is that I think gradually over time it will just gradually lose its quantity on the Steam market and then go up in price. Yes, that is what I am currently expecting. So will this go below? You know, will this go lower from here and now? I do expect it to. Are we still expecting more Legacy Kevlar skins? Kosem has said he does plan to do a version two of his boots and gloves. If you need money, buddy, go for it. I wouldn't question you. If you need the funds, go for it. But if you don't really need it, if you can afford to wait it out, see what happens over the course of the rest of this year. You know, you're more than welcome to do that. So, yeah, I can't really answer for you. I don't know what price you bought these for. But, yeah, it's in your hands, I'm afraid. Sorry to say. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, I personally kind of want to wait it out and see what happens. Um, I'm hoping for it to be longer term. It will be longer term. It Yeah, it's not going to really go anywhere until longer term. Maybe we see things improve as early as the summertime. Because yes, with more people playing in the summertime, we do usually expect to see Ruskin prices improve. That's the thing that we normally do see. But we're going through Easter. We're about to have a CS2 major. There's a lot of like things that would normally, you know, by default, 
prices do go down in Easter time and with the major, it only kind of like exacerbates the potential problem. So um, still kind of going through the qualifiers at the moment. I'm sure quite a lot of you might have seen it on Twitch and whatnot, but it all kicks off in six weeks time. And if the stickers, listen, if the stickers are like bordered and not very good looking, that won't actually be a problem. That'll be fine. That actually won't be a problem. Like, yeah, I mean, some people still want to invest in it, but not as much as you might think for on average. But we don't know what we're going to expect. Oh, dear. <laughs> Maybe we do get good bordered stickers. People would still want to chase after that then. Because uh, in regards to Counter-Strike, for the past four majors, we've had three borderless stickers. And that's causing borderless stickers to become less special and less in demand, which isn't very good. And if it happens again, oh, no. Counter-Strike might be struggling even more. Because, yes, right now, you might sit there and say, oh, no, Rust is struggling. Counter-Strike is as well. I feel like this is also part of the reason why Rust isn't doing super amazing because Counter-Strike isn't doing that good either. Prices of all the cases have dipped fairly low and it's not a good sight to see. But it happened and, well, will there be a bit of a turnaround? The expectation is, is we might see something like that potentially happen with the Major. When the Major rolls in, Hopefully we see some more people, you know, wanting to uh, attack those cases. But yeah, that's the state of uh, CS. We're here talking about Rust and change the front page. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, Legacy Kevlar still on the front page. Cool. So um, that seems to be it. All right, then. Um, so any other questions? Good thing I learned that Neverinfest is very known set. <laughs> I'm thinking the kill specifically will be a longer term. Yeah, it will be. It will be. Yeah. So... Um, is there anything else that we need to address? Oh yeah, there is. There's one very weird thing that I uh, got that got brought to my attention. So, what's that? That's a white lantern. So apparently that was something that was added. Now I'm not sure if you have to buy the Chinese lantern just to be able to have that one. Uh, I I think that's the case, but we now have a variant of the Chinese lantern. You can have the standard one with the nice orangey warm lights, or you can have a much more cooler, brighter, whiter light. Well, not, not brighter, it's not brighter, but you know, you, you can see what I mean. Um, yeah, so we have a white lantern now. Uh, yeah, and there was no mention of a new item introduced, so I do believe it's connected to the regular Chinese lantern. You have options, you can pick them. Cool. So, yes, you do need to have the OG Chinese Lantern. Yeah, okay, cool. So, yeah, you have to go acquire that. And that will be probably reappearing next week. Yes, we're going to have Lunar New Year next week. That is to be expected. But we shall see what happens. Alternative to White House. Don't shut up. Oh, shut up. It's a Chinese Lantern, buddy. It's not... Shut up. <laughs> shut up. Right, okay. What do you think about the new barrel design and rust? We saw it being mentioned here in the tweaks to Herber. Yeah, ah, we broke it. Did I do that? No. Nope. Okay. Yes, uh, the new barrels are being put in the new harbour. So you've got to keep an eye on the commits. Yes, you've got to keep an eye on the commits. It looks like we might have a new harbour for March time. Mossy containers have been added. Rubble piles have been added. Plywood walls have been added. What? Will be happening. Ooh, Harbour One Island placement. Cool. So, yes. We've got maybe four or five weeks of that being worked on. Cargo ship. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, very interesting. So you've got to keep an... Ah, okay. Well, okay, that, that happens sometimes. <laughs> that happens sometimes. It's not, it's not within my control. So... I don't know what potentially might happen with the likes of Thundergold. Some of you might be asking right now, Thundergold, where is it? Oh no, it's Doom. No, 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 no. You might have noticed, no, no, not a single, not a single early pick appeared this week. We had one and two, no, uh, one and two late picks, one extra late pick, and all the other skins, every other skin here was a typical pick. Every other skin here was in TDG's uh, top picks list. So if I were to refresh this, and you'll see lots of ticks, lots of uh, ticks, yep, 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 yep. But if you were to look in my uh, most recent Rust Workshop skin checks video uh, list, not a single one, not a single one was accepted. So the fact that the vast majority of it was 
you know, Lunar New Year themed. I mean, it's not too hard to understand, but I'm sure many of you are well aware that we did have the likes of some very interesting collection continuations that were added. But yeah, they weren't accepted. But I will point this out. When a holiday rust all happens, it effectively pauses all the other skin submissions. Those uh, the, the, those hoodie and pants are still going to be eligible for two or three rust doors after next week's rust door. That is to be expected. And again, we just saw some late picks and extra late, late picks today. So we might see that happen. Maybe they get held back for March for swipe. <laughs> oh, we'll find out. We'll find out. So, uh, yeah. That's basically it then, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the rust store. Compared to previous week, better, better. But in terms of trying to make some profits out of these, again, I feel like boulders are going to be the smart choice. Let's just quickly refresh this, see if there's been any like major increases in purchases. But uh, yeah, yeah. And what we see? Da -da 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 -da. All right, cool. So it's pushing up to 6,000 sales each now. This has done 5,000. That is quite a lot. I'm actually starting to question these things a little bit now. That one more so. That's doing a lot more than what I was anticipating. But these, eh, it's fine. It's fine. So, yes. That right there should be okay. Let's leave it till Saturday. I'll do my full eight hours. We'll discuss what happens then. And, uh, yeah, that, that's basically it then, guys, isn't it? That is basically it. So, stay optimistic. And we'll find out. And I get the feeling, what, you wanted me to look at the likes of comics and Thundergold? I mean, I could look at Thundergold. We looked at it last night with my Abnormal Bilders video. Have we seen some more listings? Have people unloaded stock of their kilts because they started to get a bit worried? See, because we're not going to notice anything probably for another two weeks. You're going to probably notice a lot of people getting worried, panicky. But I still hold strong, and I know the people behind this will very likely do a version 2. They did it for the tier 2, so don't rule out the possibility. At some point, we should get hoodie and pants, and they do look cool. They do look cool. Get a good look at this. So, on the horizon, maybe, just maybe, we'll probably get it. Do, 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 do. Come on, load up. Don't start playing games with me. Give me what I want. Give me what I need. That's it. That's the good stuff. That right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you might sit there and say budget alternative to Whiteout. I'll sit there and say it's its own style. It's its own brand. And it looks awesome. Look at the thunder streak going across the ho hoodie onto the pants. Perfect. So cool. Kamel, stop messaging me, mate. Come on, chill out. Stop it. You don't need to bring that to here. I'm trying to record a video. Right, chat, is there anything else that you might want to uh, ask? Is there anything else that's on your mind? Is there anything else that you're worried about? Biased opinion. Comics. All right, comics. So I will sit here and say this. The person behind the comic set has not submitted any comic skins recently. I don't. I can't really answer it because there's nothing been submitted by them. They've been doing their own separate, isolated things, like nothing connected to comics. I could take a look real quickly if you want. So if I were to go to the actual comic set here... It, it should highlight the most recent thing that was connected to it that was submitted. Yeah, their last attempt for Tier 2, well, that was back in the end of October last year. And they have tried quite a lot. <laughs> Unfortunately, it didn't happen. So you can't really expect anything to happen until they make another attempt. But if I were to show you their most recent um, like attempts for skins and whatnot... It's been like nothing connected to the likes of comics. They even tried to make a new white set, it seems. They made some doors, an MP5, a wooden door. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So I don't imagine there'll be any more comic stuff for a while. Not until they make an attempt for it, mate. Makes sense? So, I mean, you got to go ask the skin creator. you got to go actively ask them and say, hey, are you going to do? Are you gonna make this? Are you going to do that? Because uh, that's the only way they're going to get the idea that people want it. That's the only way. Much like I said earlier, has anybody actually gone ahead and asked, like, the skin creators, will you make more? And no one did it. So, there you go. There's only one way to find out. <laughs> There's only one way to find out. Right. So, did the player count increase at all? Nope. Well, got to wait until Saturday, I guess, then. We'll find out what happens next. We will keep an eye on the commits. Nope, it's broken. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. All right, never mind. So... Lots of stuff to be prepared for in the future. 
let's keep an eye out and see if things are going to be all right. Ruskins are going down in price at the moment. Maybe we might see a bit of a bump for some of them. <laughs> we'll, we'll find out. All right. So thank you very much for watching me. I greatly appreciate it. Hope you all enjoyed the video. And like I said, keep an eye on the Rust Workshop. There, there, Rust Workshop. I can't speak words anymore. Yeah, keep an eye on it. Let's see what gets accepted next week. I don't know, but hey, we'll find out. There's a lot, a lot of doors. So <laughs> I think we'll be seeing a lot of doors next week. There is a lot of doors. There is a lot of doors. Right. So, so yeah, bye.